All right, so for the sensory examination, if the patient doesn't have sensory complaints, so they're not complaining of numbness or tingling or they don't have a balance problem, um, it would be appropriate just to check the lower extremities for the sensory exam. Obviously, if there's hand numbness or something like that, then we need to do some upper extremity testing as well. And so, um, two sensory tests that assess the large myelinated fibers are vibration and proprioception. And so I have a tuning fork here, and we always want to check, not at the ankles, but down at the toes initially. So you can just lightly tap the ends of the tuning fork and ask the patient if they feel the vibration. Yes. All right. And then we just ask the patient, tell me when you no longer feel it. And I will often slow down the vibration here by just touching with my finger yeah. a little bit. Good. And then we'll compare with symmetry on the other side. So I'm just going to lightly tap that, feel the vibration. Okay, good. Now, if a patient doesn't feel it down at the big toe, then you would move up to the ankle. If they don't feel it at the ankle, then you would move up to the knee. Okay, and you always want to check from side to side. Now the other way of assessing the large myelinated fibers, and both of these vibration and proprioception go up to the posterior columns, uh, but this is proprioception. And so here it's important, we just want to isolate the movement of the big toe, all right? And so with, you're going to first ask the patient to close their eyes and tell me whether I move your toe up or down. Up, down, down. Good. And then we'll compare again on the other side. Tell me up or down. Down. Up. Down. Good. Now notice if I don't hold his foot with my other hand, and I'm checking proprioception with one hand, then when I do that, they're actually you're actually going to move the ankle a little bit up and down. So that's going to make your test much less sensitive. So we want to isolate the big toe movement um, by stabilizing the distal foot with the other hand. Now, if the patient can't feel proprioception at the big toe, then we move up and we check ankle proprioception. And again, with the eyes closed, we ask the patient if we're moving your foot up or down. Up, down, down. Good. And if the patient doesn't have proprioception at the ankle, then we would move up to the knee and ask the patient whether you are straightening or flexing um, at the knee. Now, in terms of the small unmyelinated fibers that convey pain, uh, this can be assessed through pain and temperature. And so the tuning fork is cold, and so we can put this on the patient's foot and ask, does that feel warm or cold? Cool. Compare with the other side. Cool. And then I'll ask the patient, does this feel about the same on both sides? And and again, if it doesn't, then we would do more detailed testing. If a patient can't feel it down here at the foot, then we'll move up to the ankle and we'll keep moving up until finally the patient is able to sense that it's cold. Now, the other way of assessing the small unmyelinated fibers is with something sharp. And so I have these disposable pins here. And so Usually when I do this, I'm going to first apologize to the patient and say I'm going to lightly touch you with something sharp. And so on the foot here, I'll ask the patient, does that feel sharp like a pin? Yes. And then we'll compare with the other side. Sharp like a pin? And again, he says it's symmetrical. If the patient can't feel it in their feet, then we'll keep moving up the leg until finally the patient is able to feel it if it's sharp. And of course, if a patient has a peripheral neuropathy, since those are length dependent, typically there's going to be sensory loss distally, and then finally we'll reach a point where the patient is able to feel. Okay, and if we find something abnormal in the legs, then it would be important to check the hands and the upper extremities as well. And really that's no different. So we could check vibration at a distal joint like this in the upper extremities. And if needed, we could check proprioception. Again, you want to isolate just a distal movement by moving the finger up or down. 